All right, I'm not skunked. See you, dude. <laughs> this is a decent one. So, what could have been a striper boil over here. Yeah, there's something going on over there. Let's see if we can get him on top water. Yeah, 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 look at him. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> oh, he popped off. <laughs> oh, he's, look at him, look at him. Yeah, got him. <laughs> okay, there he goes. <laughs> Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, they're after him. Oh, got him! Oh, this is insane. Oh, come on. Look at this one, it's pretty. Yeah, he's gone. I'm hooked now. Wonder if they'll hit something easier to unhook. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they're gonna hit this guy right here. Maybe not. Swipe. Got him. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, shaker. Okay. All three trebles every time. And my line is getting all twisted up in it. Come on, shaker. Jeez. Okay. Let's go. I don't know if I've been. Oh, there we go, right on the drop. <laughs> I don't know if I've been recording all of these fish I've been catching. This is probably six stripers. 
Oh, he played dead. Now he's shaking. Stop it. It's a good way to get a trouble in the hand. Caught a couple with the uh, spinner bait. I don't know how many I've caught with to on top water, but it's been a few. Getting those hooks out is kind of not really fun. This is kind of no-brainer fishing. When you see them, like it's not that hard to catch them. Yeah, they're there. They're there. Oh, we got them. We got him. Oh, the little guy. See you. These are small ones. There he goes. All right, they kind of died down just a tad. Um, I'm so paranoid I'm gonna get a whopper plopper hook in my finger I, I'm not I'm probably I mean I can't resist so I'll probably throw it again but um, I've been catching them on the spinnerbait as well one thing that you can do with the spinnerbait is actually almost run it like a subsurface topwater just just almost like a wake bait just get those blades right up there to where it's almost waking yeah, see, there was one that was looking at it right there. Gosh, followed it in. We can catch them like this. Oh, gosh, dang it, that was quick. See, they're still here. They're just not hitting the top. And this hook is so much easier to get out. it I bet we can get him fired up I'll throw a little top water out there see getting them fired up they think that it's other fish feeding on them. <laughs> the guy was tiny. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. Damn bird. He almost got hooked.
Georgie! Yeah! See you later. Wasn't really expecting that, but that's even better. Well, I think it's official. I have scared all of the scrapers away. Hello. Goodbye. There we go. Yeah, this guy is fighting. Okay, come here. Not bad. Well, that rounded out my day. I was quickly approaching the dock. Um, it was a good day, really fun day. Had a blast running into the stripers. If you didn't see part one, you check it out. You know, I caught quite a few largemouth um, in part one. Overall, really productive day, really fun day out on the Delta. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching as always. Thanks for getting out west with Chris.